Hello everybody, my name is Marlow and welcome to a rather spooky episode of Hardcore Minecraft. Halloween is upon us, or at least it will be in a day from this video being released, so I hope you guys are having a very scary time. <laughs> Today, I thought we would do something seasonal, so I'm gonna go trick-or-treating. And of course, I am gonna need some sort of costume. I obviously can't go around looking like this. I mean, this is just my normal clothes. I gotta dress up for Halloween. Thankfully, I have something prepared. Okay, this was a bit of a last minute thing, so it's definitely not gonna win any awards. It's not the best costume ever, so you have to promise not to laugh and to be nice, okay? Deal? All right, okay, I'm, I'm coming out now. Here I am. I'm a spooky ghost. Yes, look at me. I'm I'm just quite frankly terrifying. <laughs> so, yeah, this is my uh, my Halloween outfit, guys. It's it's just meant to, you know, <laughs> I, d I don't know what to say about it. I'm not that good at making skins, all right? Leave me alone. This was the best I could do. It's meant to be like when you cut up a bed sheet and kind of chuck it over yourself and cut out some eye holes. Yeah, it's uh <laughs> It's something, that's for sure. So I've got my costume on, and thankfully we've got a little bit of time before it's dark out, so I need to find something to hold all of my treats inside of. The trouble is, Minecraft doesn't really have a bag exactly. We'll take the next best thing, a shulker box, but let's make it a spooky shulker box. And what's more spooky than the color orange? <laughs> there we go, I am set to go trick-or-treating. Come to think about it, I should probably do this before night time as I don't have my armor on and I don't think my bed sheet is going to protect me all that well. So yeah, we better get going before it actually gets too dark out. First house on the list is the cartographer's house with Sky outside. Hello Sky, trick or treat. Which one have you got for me? A trick or a treat? What's it going to be? Neither. Okay, cool. Uh, what about on the house? Knock knock. Anyone home? Hmm. It's gonna be more difficult than I thought it would be. Trick or treat! Hello? Anyone in there? Oh wait, this is my house. Of course no one's gonna be inside of here. What about the stables? Horses? Donkeys? Mules? Any of you got anything for me? What about the cats upstairs? Any tricks, guys? Or treats? At this point, I will take either. Oh, it's getting dark and this has been such an unsuccessful night so far. What about uh, the Deep Slate Castle here? Oh, sounds creepy inside. Knock knock. Trick or treat! Hello? Can I just peek inside? Okay, yeah, that, that's a bit too tricky for me. Goodbye, I don't want to go in here anymore. Hang on a second. I don't remember seeing that building before. That's a bit creepy though. Um, well, we probably got time to fit in one more house maybe. The, the mobs are spawning, so we're gonna have to be quick with this one, but... Yeah, let's run over and, and take a look, maybe. Yeah, I definitely haven't seen this house before. I don't think you guys would have either. It looks awfully abandoned, though, and it's very dark around here. I'm a little bit scared. Um, okay, hopefully a creeper or something doesn't come and kill us. Oh, these trees are so dead. It's, it's dilapidated around here. Um, okay, the coast is clear. Oh, let's, let's go knock. Okay, ahem. <clears throat> Trick or treat! Hello? Anyone home? Hmm. Doesn't doesn't look like anyone's home. I'll knock one more time. Any answers? Oh, it's so dark outside and it's such a far way back. I I do not I d I don't <laughs> I don't really want to walk all the way over there at night time. There's there's creepers, there's zombies, there's spiders, there's more creepers there. Um is is it unlocked? It's unlocked. Um, oh, this is not going to end well. On Halloween of all times. All right, let's let's crash in this place for tonight, maybe, and and hope nothing bad happens or no one's home. Well, whoever owns this place certainly does a poor job of cleaning. That's for sure. There's cobwebs everywhere around here, and the bushes are dead. I mean, take care of your plants at least. Okay, there's a, there's a book here. I. Should we read it? <laughs> I don't really want to snoop. The whole idea was to just spend the night in here and, and head back in the morning, but I mean, I'm getting no answer. It, it just, it looks so, it can't not be abandoned, surely, right? Let's have a quick read. 
Okay. It's not what I was expecting. Um. Yeah, I can't. I can't read that. <laughs> I. I don't know what it's meant to be saying. Can I? Um. Yeah. No. Nothing. It, it looks like we got like a title at the top here and a couple of paragraphs and then like a, a sign off at the bottom. Maybe almost like a letter format. Regardless, it, it hurts my eyes to look at. It must be magic or, or something. Um, we can go up or downstairs. I feel so bad snooping, but I mean... Hello, come on! <laughs> Is anyone here? Just just tell me now. Don't scare me. I do not like jump scares. That's that's the one type of scary I'm, I'm not a fan of. Alright, let's let's go up. Let's go up. I'm, it's, a, it's a bit cobwebby, but that's fine. Okay. Um, that, that looks like a dangerous flower. I can hear noises. I think that's just outside. Oh, climbing on the desk. Let's, let's be a little bit respectful. Try and keep to the floors. Hmm. It's a strange painting of a house, I assume. Fireplace is still on. That's unusual. With this much ab abandonedness, you'd think the fireplace would be extinguished. But no. It's not. we got some empty bookshelves. Maybe one of these is the book downstairs? I'm, I'm not sure. And we got the bed with a, with, a, with a bit of storage next to it. Some shelves over here. I'm, I'm stuck in more cobwebs. Uh, let me out. There we go. Um, uh, yeah, that that kind of matches the vibe, that's for sure. <laughs> Magic and, and creepy, it, all in one. All right, well, no one's up here, um, and nothing's on the middle floor. I guess we can head down to the basement. Nothing good is ever in a basement, especially when the house is this scary. Some weird noises going on outside. Hopefully, I think it's the goat. <laughs> Hopefully, nothing else. All right, well, what we got down here then? What on earth? Something's moving. The floor is moving. Is that blood? Okay, they just got kind of turned up to a hundred. I don't know really whether we should go down here, but I also I really don't want to walk back. I don't want to stay, but I don't want to go. What shall I do? I guess we should uh, let curiosity lead the way. Okay, what we got down here? Yeah, that floor is definitely it looks like it's on fire. Hopefully it's not hot. That's that's a sharp object. Oh, it's overgrown in here. What is all this stuff? I don't want to touch it, but I feel like I've just stepped in the blood. Oh, there's blood everywhere. Still loads of cobwebs. What is this then? Some kind of seat with a saw right in the middle. I, I don't know if I want to know any more than that, but I have a feeling that's where the blood came from. Oh, the, the, these are thick to walk through. It's not nice at all. Some sort of cage. It's been busted open though. Let's uh, back away from that. Or maybe back into that. I, where, what was in this cage? Now I'm stuck in the cobweb. Oh god. Um, let me out, please. Let me out. I want to go back upstairs, but I want to keep investigating. Okay, let's go back down. Let's be brave. Come on, let's be brave. We can do it. A cauldron. Is it a witch's cauldron? Is there a potion in here? I'm not sure. We got crystals on the walls. Maybe they're related. I'm not sure. Hmm. Well. I can't not go through the doors, right? We've, we've looked around the rest of the house. I may as well go through this one as well. I'm really, really frightened there's going to be something behind this doorway that's going to make me jump. So, uh, let's take a deep breath in. And just do it quickly. Oh. Oh, it's a redstone lamp, I assume. With a button. Well, boy, do I just want to press that now. <laughs> but what's going to happen if I press that? It, well, the lamp's going to turn on, obviously. I, I assume. Yeah. Okay. Nothing else. It's a tool. T <gasps> oh, lava, lava, lava! Ah. Oh, received. Happy Halloween. I got you guys. Or at least, I hope I did. Maybe I got, like, two of you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I doubt any of you actually thought I was about to plummet into lava and end the series like that, but maybe I gave a couple of you just, just a bit of a scare. After all, tis the season to be spooked. Um, so that was all fun and stuff, but now I'm 
trapped in this hole <laughs> with no actual way out. I probably should have thought ahead a bit about this. Well, this is fun. I will see you guys at the surface in about three days, probably. All right, the jig is up, it's over, you guys know it was all just acting, and great acting at that. <laughs> just kidding, I know it wasn't, it was your typical Minecraft YouTuber acting. <laughs> Hopefully you guys don't mind too much, a little bit cringy I know, but it's all fun and games, right? So uh, yeah, let's take a little bit of a tour of this brand new house that we've built up in between episodes, and I actually really quite like how this turned together. Um, it honestly looks better from a distance when you can kind of just see it off there secluded away from everything else. It looks really cool, especially with the dead trees we have out the front. I really do quite like that touch. But yeah, the plan was just to make this sort of gothic style wooden house, have it have some abandoned elements to it, like the dead trees and all the cobwebs on the inside, and we got some cracked bricks and that sort of thing. This was a really, really fun build to put together. I hope you guys like it. And something I have to tell you guys about is that I discovered a screaming goat whilst building this thing. So, one of these goats nearby, I think, is a screaming goat or something weird has happened with the uh, sound files. Because, yeah, one of them doesn't sound normal. Trouble is, I can't remember which one it was. So, I'm just going to go around listening to all of these guys. and That sounded pretty normal. I'm going to go around listening to them all and hopefully the screaming one decides to scream. Whichever goat it is, it's refusing to cooperate. <laughs> when I was building this thing, he wouldn't stop screaming. It was really annoying. <laughs> but this time, now I want to show you guys, he's decided to finally shut up. So, uh, you guys, unfortunately, are just going to have to take my word for it, I think. Unless the screaming goat would like to stand up before I end off this clip. Nope, did not think so. Before we get started with anything else in today's episode, I need to take a quick trip over to the Amethyst Tower here, and more specifically, down to the skeleton farm underneath, so we need to drop down this hole. Don't worry, this one doesn't have lava at the end. <laughs> it's just water, and I need to farm here at my skeleton grinder for a little bit, because as you can see, my elytra is on its last legs. Wonderful, elytra is fully prepared, and now it is night time, which is actually awfully convenient for what I want to do next. So if you hadn't already caught on, then the gist of the little skit at the start of the episode with this house is that it was meant to be a witch's house of sorts, and currently it's abandoned, but I would quite like to change that, so I don't know whether we're definitely going to be able to do this. I'm not going to bust a gut because it's not really that important, <laughs> but I would like to put a witch inside of this house. Now, I'm stood up here trying to scout one out, which doesn't seem to be happening at the moment, but yeah, I'm just going to hang around here until I spot one and then just try and get it to follow me inside. Hopefully that works. Still no witches at all, and I've just kind of been flying in and out of render distance over and over again, hoping to get a new set of mobs each time. They're a lot rarer than I thought they were. I'm hoping I can get one nearby and just kind of walk it in, as I've said, but if need be, I guess I could wait for one to spawn far away, wait until morning time, give it a name, and then we can walk on over once all of the skeletons and the zombies and the spiders and endermen have all dispersed. I should probably buy a name tag before I find a witch and then I'm stuck with not knowing what to do with it and trying to rush and get a name tag and then it'll despawn. So real quickly, let's actually head to our librarian friends here, our library friends, if you will and uh, buy a name tag from one of you. It does not matter which one, that is more than enough, thank you very much. And I'm gonna fly back over and think of what to call it. I have decided on Adelaide, which is just a little bit of a reference to a wonderful Halloween-themed mini-series called Over the Garden Wall. It's an animated, like, 10-episode thing. It's probably, like, two hours long in total. If you're looking for something a little bit spooky and, and seasonal to watch this Halloween, I'd really recommend that, so yeah, give that a look out. 
if you're interested. We have found one just in time as the skeleton behind her just burns. <laughs> it could not be more perfect. Okay, you need to disappear because I'm poisoned and in danger. There's still mobs and everything around. Um, you know, seeing those poison hardcore hearts actually scares me a little bit. So I think let's fly away and then if we can just pop the name tag on her. Adelaide, why are you going down there? That's going to make it so much more difficult. Uh, yeah, if we can just maybe get the name tag on her and then I can fly away and wait for everything else to disappear and then I can try get her in position. So let's try do a cool move here. Huh, there we go, Adelaide. Oh, she's throwing damage potions now. All right, let's get out of here and come back and hope she is still in the same spot. All righty, how are we looking now? Coast looks pretty clear. Fingers crossed, Adelaide. Okay, you're over here. That that works. Excuse me, miss. Could you <laughs> stop running away? You should be chasing me. I should be the one running. Okay, uh, yeah, sure. You can throw slowness at me all you want. I can take that <laughs> poison. Not so much. That hurts a bit more. But yeah, if you could just follow me this way. Looks like we're in store for a, for a painful journey home. She is <laughs> really lamping on the potions, isn't she? All right. How can she chuck them that far? Is she reaching me? No, <laughs> not at all. That was that was a weak throw, Adelaide. She appears to be stuck. I'm I'm not sure how I got up there and she's not able to. But if you could just hold off on the potions f just for one second, Adelaide, I will I will help you out. All right, there we go. Now we go while she's mid throw. Oh, she got me. That's fine. Okay, you you should be able to climb up all of that, Adelaide. Just just keep coming this way. There we go. We are finally getting somewhere. <laughs> Her poison potion. It's it's very very strong. It, it stays poisonous for a little while. So uh, yeah, keep coming this way. Now I haven't really thought how I'm gonna do this. To be quite frank, I think my plan is to get her inside. You know what we're actually gonna do? Super quick. Switch out the elytra for this, and then if I can get her in the door, and just kind of tempt her inside, and then I'm just gonna run out and shut that. <laughs> and I don't think she should be able to get out because witches can't open doors. Um, the only trouble is if I want to get inside, well. I'm, g I'm gonna have a witch trying to get out every single time. There is one last thing I should probably do before we leave Adelaide in there and that is switch the doors around and what I mean by that is place them down in a way so that zombies are not going to be able to break them down because how they are right now if I actually just press F3 and look over here on the right hand side you can see it says open false which is true because it's closed. We want it to say open true when it is closed and, and we can do that in a bit of a weird way. So I need to <laughs> trap her in a corner somehow. Uh that that works. I have no idea where she is, but that is more than more than helpful. So the way we need to place these down is so that they are closed or you place them down and they're open to begin with. Uh, not like that. Like this. Yeah, so then when we press F3 and look over here, you can say open true. So the zombie is going to look at this and think, oh, it's open. I'm not going to bother punching it down. The question now is where is that cackle coming from? Because I can't see her. Oh, there you are. Hello, Adelaide. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's go ahead and just quickly break one, two, three, four, shut the door. There we go. Adelaide is safe in her brand new home. And I am safe out here, far away from Adelaide. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It is, of course, where we're going to have to say goodbye for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye for now. And yes, don't worry, I will have my normal skin on next episode. Happy Halloween, everybody.